على نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيقون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدوا ما في أنفسكم أو تخفوه يحاسبكم به الله فيغفر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربي والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إشرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين آمين لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله الله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله الله أكبر سبحان الله بحمده سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله بحمده سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم ربنا اغفر لنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا اغفر لنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا اغفر لنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد اللهم صل عليه وسلم اللهم صل على محمد اللهم صل عليه وسلم اللهم صل على محمد اللهم صل عليه وسلم اعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق اعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق اعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم وبينا بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا بمحمد النبي رضينا بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا بمحمد النبي رضينا بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا بمحمد النبي بسم الله والحمد لله والخير والشر مشيئة الله بسم الله والحمد لله والخير والشر مشيئة الله بسم الله والحمد لله والخير والشر مشيئة الله آمنا بالله واليوم الآخر دبنا إلى الله باغنا وظاهر آمنا بالله واليوم الآخر دبنا إلى الله باغنا وظاهر آمنا بالله واليوم الآخر دبنا إلى الله باغنا وظاهر يا ربنا واعف عنا ومح الذي كان منا يا ربنا واعف عنا ومح الذي كان منا 
يا ربنا واعف عنا وبح الذي كان منا يا ذا الجلال والإكرام ومثنا على دين الإسلام 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 يا قوي يا مدين اكف الشر الظالمين يا قوي يا مدين اكف الشر الظالمين يا قوي يا مدين اكف الشر الظالمين أصلح الله أمور المسلمين سرف الله الشر المؤذين أصلح الله أمور المسلمين سرف الله الشر المؤذين أصلح الله أمور المسلمين سرف الله الشر المؤذين يا علي يا كبير يا عليم يا قدير يا سميع يا بصير يا لطيف يا خبير يا علي يا كبير يا عليم يا قدير يا سميع يا بصير يا لطيف يا خبير يا علي يا كبير يا عليم يا قدير يا سميع يا بصير يا لطيف يا خبير يا فارج الهم يا كاشف الغم يا من عبدي يغفر ويرحم يا فارج الهم يا كاشف الغم يا من لعبدي يغفر ويرحم يا فارج الهم يا كاشف الغم يا من لعبدي يغفر ويرحم استغفر الله رب البرايا استغفر الله من الخطايا 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 لا اله الا الله 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 محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وشرف كرم ومجد وعظم ورضي تعالى عن اهل بيت المطهرين واصحاب المهترين وتابعين لهم باحسان الى يوم الدين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل اعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق اذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد اذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل اعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس اله الناس 
من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس الفاتحة إلى الرسلين وحبيبنا وشفيعنا رسول الله محمد بن عبد الله وآله وأصحابه وأزواجه وزوجه وأهل بيته وإلى روح سيدنا المهاجر الله أحمد بن عيسى وأصوله وفرعهم أن الله يعود إلى الجنة والجنة ويقدم طلباتهم ويضعف عزلتهم ويحفظنا بجاههم وينفعنا بهم ويعيد علينا بركاتهم وأسرارهم وأنوارهم وعلومهم ونفحاتهم بالدين والدنيا والآخرة الفاتحة إلى روح سيدنا الأستاذ العاضل الفقير المقدم محمد بن علي بعالوي وأسوري وفروحهم وجميع سادتنا أدي أبي علوي وأسوري وفروحهم أن الله يعلي درجم في الجنة ويكتب مثوباتهم ويضعف حسناتهم ويحفظنا بجاههم وينفعنا بهم ويعيد علينا من بركاتهم وأسرارهم وأنوارهم وعلومهم ونفحاتهم في الدين والدنيا والآخرة الفاتحة إلى أرواح سيدنا سفية أنا مكان وحلت أرواح من من مشارق الأرض إلى مغاربها أن الله يعلى درجة الجنة بقدر مثوباتهم ويضعف حسناتهم ويحفظنا بجاههم ويفعلنا بما يعين وعلينا بركاتهم وأسرارهم وأنوارهم وعلوم نفحاتهم في الدين والدنيا والآخرة الفاتحة إلى الروح سيدنا سيدنا صاحب الراتب القطب الإشاد وغاث العبد ويربيل الحبي عبد الله بن علي بن محمد الحداد وأسولي وفروعهم أن الله يعلي درجة الجنة ويكتب مذوبات ويدعى فاتحة ويفرج الجهيم وينفعنا بهم ويدعى علينا بركات وأسرار وأنوار ونعم وفرج من الدنيا وإلى آخر الفاتحة الفاتحة إلى أرواح كافة عبد الله الصالح والدنا ومشايخنا في الدين وذل الحق علينا وأموات أهل هذه البلدة من أهل لا إله إلا الله أجمعين وإلى أرواح أموات المسلمين وأحياهم إلى يوم الدين أن الله يغفر أن الله يغفر لكم ويرحمهم ويفرج كروب المسلمين ويرحمهم ويشفي مرضاهم ويجمع شملهم على الهدى ويؤلف ذات بينهم ويولي عليهم خيارهم ويسرف عنهم شرارهم ويكفينا وإياهم شرفة ومحن والمؤذن والمؤذن من قريب أو بعيد ويرخي أسعارهم ويغزر أمطارهم ويعطي كل سائل منا ومنكم سؤله على ما يرد الله ورسوله ويفتح علينا فتوح العارف ويختم لنا بالحسن وورواض عنا في خير وطف ولطف وعافية وإلى حضرة النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم الفاتحة اللهم صل وسلم اللهم إنا نسلك الرضا والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار اللهم إنا نسلك الرضا والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار اللهم نسلك الرضا والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار يا عالم السر منا لا تهتك ستر عنا وعافنا وعف عنا وكلنا حيث كنا يا عالم السر منا لا تهتك ستر عنا وعافنا وعف عنا وكلنا حيث كنا يا عالم السر منا لا تهتك ستر عنا وعافنا وعف عنا وكلنا حيث كنا جزا الله عنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم خيرا جزا الله عنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وأهله جزا الله عنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم خيرا جزا الله عنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأهله 
Jazallahu anna Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam Khairu jallahu anna Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam Mahu ahlu Jazallahu anna Sayyidina wa nabiyina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa sallam Afdala ma jaza nabiyan an ummatih Ya Allah biha ya Allah biha ya Allah Bihusnil khatima Ya Allah biha ya Allah biha ya Allah Bihusnil khatima Ya Allah biha ya Allah biha ya Allah Bihusnil khatima wal qabul بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا ونور قلوبنا وقرة أعيننا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم نوجه تعلم وتعنيم وتذكر وتذكر والنفع والانتفاع ورفارة والاستفادة والحتى على تمسك بكتاب الله وسنة رسوله صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم ودلالة على الخير ابتغاء وجه الله ومرضاته وقربه وثوابه سبحانه وتعالى مع لطف وعافية برحمتك يا رحمة رحمة اللهم انسك العلم لدني والمشرب الصوفي الهني يا وهب يا غني اللهم انسك العلم لدني والمشرب الصوفي الهني يا وهب يا غني اللهم انسك العلم لدني والمشرب الصوفي الهني يا وهب يا غني صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين الحمد لله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الله سبحانه الحمد لله بريس الله سبحانه وتعالى for bestowing his grace and his favors upon us in always bringing us around the laws of this beautiful and perfect religion that he has placed on the tongue of the most beautiful and perfect of teachers, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Sahabi wa Sallam and allow us to go through it in detail inshallah enjoying every moment of studying this religion as it with the intention that it brings us and our families closer to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Alhamdulillah we are in the month of Rajab, um, the blessed month of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. I hope everyone is keeping up with their uh, istighfar right, in the Rajab uh, this morning Rabbi Fildi Warhamni Wa Tuba Alay 70 times uh, last night also Rabbi Fildi Warhamni Wa Tuba Alay 70 times every morning and night Rabbi Fildi Warhamni Wa Tuba Alay 70 times and then uh, you can do the istighfar of Rajab inshallah today after the class uh, I will just go through I will just do it uh, quickly right, because I know it can be quite long and for some people it can be it can be um, difficult right, so you can do it together Jama'ah uh, so you can I mean if the istighfar or rajab, but you have the PDF, then it is uh, very uh, meaningful to actually reflect on the meanings in this istighfar. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for where we fall short uh, in, in, our, in our efforts in trying to clean our hearts in, in this month, in best month of rajab. Alhamdulillah. Uh, it's actually, it's, it, if only we understood, Habib always say, only you understood uh, the, like, like this kind of majalis, right, where where we, we, we talk about, you know, we, 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 we utter the same words that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uttered to, our, to, the, to the companions who then said to those that came after them and those that came after them, if only we understood the magnitude of Allah's pleasure that descends, inshallah, we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to, 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 to envelop us in His pleasure, you know, in spite of ourselves. Right, who are who are here? I mean, we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that not to prevent the goodness is from Him because of the evil that's from us right, or the shortcomings is from us. And so if only we understood, if only we understood what this is, what this, what what, what is being distributed uh, in this kind of uh, gatherings from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, right, we would uh, we would we would rush and we would savor every moment in this kind of gatherings. And my teacher said, even if it's a matter of learning your wudu over and over and over and over again, I did the, mo- uh, the most belo- beloved things to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we put in effort in our journey getting close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah. Right, so today, last week, I went through the conditions right, of uh, making intentions and the reason why it's important to make intentions right, is so, as so that you can differentiate what is uh, normal daily uh, habits right, from worship. Right, that's why it is Important to go into the intentions, right? So the first, when did I stop last week? Eh? I, I I finished the all I finished all seven, right? Uh, of the conditions of those who want to make intentions, 
right? And today we are going into the washing of the face, right? Uh, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, right? So the washing of the face, uh, we are going into the the, the sunnah of wudu. I, I did mention that I eventually I after going to the the wajibs of the wudu. I'll go through the entire wudu with its full sunnahs and also uh, of the very strong sunnahs of wudu is, the pres- is, is, is to, to save water. Right? And it was something that Rasulullah uh, also preached, the saving of water when it came to uh, doing our wudu. Right? So I'll also mention a few tips like, if you want to know right, on saving water, especially if you want to do all the sunnahs. Right? There's a way whereby you can save as much water as you can uh, as, as possible. And remember that it is a sunnah. Of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to do so, and in fact, uh, to you to waste water that is yours is makro, and to waste water that is not yours, like the water of a masjid and water of other people, it is haram, right? And some people say, then why if you don't know how much water you're wasting of the masjid, right? Then you can after you use the, the masjid water, you put more money in the tabung, uh, then you pay for the water that you use. <laughs> at least you know you can cover. Uh, at least you know at least if you wasted the water, then you know you pay for it, uh. <laughs> right? So alhamdulillah. Uh, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad right. Asani Ghasul wajhi right. So we mentioned about washing the face right. So from, the, from where the hair grows right, To where the chin is right, And from ear to ear And all the hair that's in between right. And the sunnah is basically to go a bit further right, Into the ears and into the, uh, onto the uh, neck right. So if you want So the, 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 the wajib say You only have a bit of, of, of water right. you, you have to ensure that the water is uh, Like a pool right, in your arms on your in your hands, right? And then the wajib is to start on the beginning and it goes down and you wipe to the side like this. Right? That is uh, the wajib. Right? That's one time. Right? Sunnah is that you take it right? and you go from the top. Right? So from the top, right? it goes down. Right? You go around and make sure you go past the ears and down. Right? So the sunnah is that you cover from top to ears and that means you go around the, along the uh, boundaries of it, and that is the sunnah of doing it. And this is from the hadith of Rasulullah Right when I think I mentioned last week, right about the Ghurul muhajjalin, right, which is uh, basically the horses with the white faces and the white arms. Right, whereby the, the Sahaba came up to Rasulullah Wasallam and they said, Ya Rasulullah, right, how will you recognize your ummah under your judgment? And then he says, Don't you see that if I, if I have a herd of black horses? And and of and amongst these horses right, is this Ghurul Muhajjalin, right? Meaning that you know this is a name for horses, right? They are all black, but they have white faces and white limbs, right? So if I have some of these amongst the black horses, won't I be able to tell the the, the white ones um, and the Ghurul Muhajjalin right, from the other horses? And he said, of course you can, because they have white faces and white hands. And uh, he said, and he said just like that, his ummah on the day of judgment, right? Whereby the traces of wudu. Right, will um, will will it will, will shine right, from their limbs on the day of judgment. So therefore, it's always a sunnah to extend. Right, so when it comes to our face, you extend it past here, right, to the ears and to the uh, neck, right down. When it comes to the, our arms, this is the wajib is where, where the bone is, right, up to there, right, and the joint is. And then sunnah is up to here, and going up is be, right before the shoulder is uh, more sunnah right, to do that. Right, and when it comes to our foot, right, so your foot, your ankle. Right, this is your ankle, right, and then you go halfway uh, your sh- your shin, and to go up right be- be- right before your knee. Right? This is your foot, lah. Right before your knee, there is a sunnah to go all the way there. Right? And of course, with the head, right, there is a full sunnah of of wiping the whole thing to the nape of the neck at the back, right, and then coming front. Right, for women, you go all the way to the end. If you have long hair, then you go through the hair. Right, uh, if it's if if you have long hair, lah. <laughs> right, uh, they, they, they they do this. Okay, so that is the sunnah, and then and after that to do the the years also, right? So so three times, so the years actually all together the sunnah of the years there are fifteen washings of the years sunnah, right? And reason why is because you know Allah alam you know, but but because our our ears a lot of sins we keep hearing all kinds of things. Now your eyes you can close, your mouth you can keep shut, right? But your ears keep hearing stuff, right? You know, or backbiting or lying or slandering or whatsoever. Right? The ears got a lot of sins. Right, so if you actually want to do the, the full sunnah of yes, then I will go through it. How we can do it properly, uh, inshallah, without having the water run the entire time while we are doing it. Okay, <laughs> sunnah of the yes, which is also I will have to go and speak a bit about uh, speak a bit about uh, water that is musta'mal. Right, so to know to know the difference of uh, when water actually becomes musta'mal, when water does not become musta'mal. Those of you have learned this before, alhamdulillah, revision. I right, hear it over and over again. <laughs> right, um, and and also to to to, to comb out. Right, whatever there were of misconceptions 
you know, of what we learned years ago, right? And now we're learning it again, right? So I'm going to go through the face first. So it, Allahumma sadiya ala sayyidina Muhammad. Right, so at the face is the is is the wajib, right? Um, I think I'm going to go through with the sunnahs together. Might as well, right? <laughs> right. And so I will just always distinguish between when it's sunnah and when it's wajib. Right. So when you want to begin your wudu, you come to the bathroom. You say a'uz billah a'uz billah min shaitan rajim. That's, that's the easiest you can say. Or you can say Rabbi a'uz bika min hamazati shayatin wa a'uz bika Rabbi ayyahdurun. Right. That is in the khulasa. It's in the alatif. Rabbi, a'udhu bika min hamazat al-shayateen wa a'udhu bika Rabbi ayyahdurun I to say it uh, once or three times right before you actually go into the bathroom uh, to do your wudu um, I should write all this down right? <laughs> I need to write it down okay? uh, I don't want to get out, sit down, get out, sit down my back, I don't know what happened to my back Allahumma uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allahumma sallallahu alayhi wa sallam So you say, so, so you can say a'udhu uh, bila A'udhu Billah is Sami Al-Alim Na Shaitan Al-Rajim also And whichever of the Ta'awuz You can say A'udhu Billah Shaitan Al-Rajim You can say Rabbi A'udhu Bika Min Hamazat Al-Shayateen Wa A'udhu Bika Rabbi Ayyahdurun Right which is basically Oh Allah I seek your protection From the whispers of Shaitan And I seek your protection That they, they actually come near Or they become present right? Because there's a Shaitan right? They will come when they put their wudu To make them uh, either uh, be neglectful right? Or be obsessive right? With their wudu is in, on two extremes And Shaitan is always on the extremes and our religion is always in the middle. Uh, to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim because Rasulullah said that whoever does not say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim uh, before doing their wudu, there is no wudu for him. Right? Meaning the blessings of wudu don't fall onto him. And also it means right, that the, uh, when, you know, when, you, when you do your wudu, your sins fall off. Right? The sins don't fall off. Right, of him. That's how the ulama they say, they, 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 they say the importance of what, what that statement means. There is no wudu for him. Right, meaning that while the wudu is valid, right, because saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is a sunnah, right, but uh, the the entire benefit of the wudu right, will not uh, uh, will not be there right, in a sense that uh, there is a benefit, right, but he, you know as, as as what the hadith says, those who begin without Bismillah, who begins any any action of significance without Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, then it is cut off. Uh, so here is the cutting off part. Right, whereby uh, the blessings of the wudu, the illumination of the wudu, the wudu helping that person in his prayer thereafter, right, the wudu uh, rectifying your life, right, then the, ex- the extent of the goodness of wudu is, you know, mashallah, it can really, really uh, go into every aspect of your life, especially when you take your wudu intending uh, to purify uh, your entire life right, of whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates. As how some of the ulama say, and Imam Ghazali actually, uh, said that you know as as how you you know you you need to take your wudu before you can actually enter into into the prayer means you cleanse yourself before you can enter into the prayer you need to start cleansing yourself right, before you can enter into uh, discourse and presence of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and close to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala I think it requires a lot of um, uh, Muhammad requires a lot of uh, cleansing right so. And also of the things that you should mention, like when you're on the tab, you say Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, lima in taqur wa dinin nur. Right? So that one also another zikir. So also nice if you want to do, I think I'll get up and write it on the board. Because I think I'm just giving it all out. Eh? <laughs> right, let me just uh, okay, bring this. Alright. It's also nice of the wudu. Oh, Mama says it. I mentioned Allahumma salli ala Alright, uh, just now, Rabbi A'un Du Bika Min Hamazat Hamazat al-shayateen Min hamazat al-shayateen Wa A'udhu A'udhu Bika Rabbi A'udhu Bika Min Mujadini Wa Bika Rabbi A'udhu Bika Rabbi And yah, yah, Okay, this one times 
Rabbi Right? Rabbi A'udhu bika minha mazati shayatin Wa A'udhu bika Rabbi ayyahdurun Right? And then Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Right? As you enter into So the Basmala comes here Right? And then I don't know if you can see Here Alhamdulillah 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 Ala Din Ala Din Nur So it's all It's all from there Ala Din Nur Wa Ma Wa Ma Tahur Alhamdulillah Ala Din Nur Wa Ma In Tahur Which means Praises be to Allah For the religion of light and purifying, purifying, is it correct? Purifying water. I used to the Arabic A messed up my English. And purifying water. What are they? Spending there. That's why. Is it wrong? No, no. Yeah. Okay, Alhamdulillah, ala din in nur, wa ma in tahur. Tamam? So this is what you say. Bismillah. This is what you say. So sunnahs. So sunnahs, mashallah. Right, but Alhamdulillah, the more sunnah. Uh, Allahumma salli ya Sayyidina Muhammad oh, the, more, the more sunnah that you do uh, The more eliminated You get InshaAllah right, So <sighs> Alhamdulillah right, And then you begin with washing your hands right, So when you wash your hands um, uh, There is a dua that you, can, that you can say And all of these duas as I mentioned Is found in Bidayatul Hidayah uh, On the group I shared the video of Habib Omar uh, doing his wudu, so watch that video. Right, he's doing so. As it, so, how he's doing his wudu? It is with a, a very, uh, it's a direct chain up to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of people who watched people who watched people who watched Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam perform wudu. Right, so exactly as how he does it, that was uh, how it was transmitted right down to uh, himself. So you watch it and you can see. There's nothing like seeing them do it. When you hear all these, these descriptions, you're like, you know, what, what exactly is it? <laughs> it's like that. Right, so you wash your hands. Like the mouth, as right, mentioned, uh, I, I know I, I keep repeating things because I keep trying to do it, you know, all in one go. <laughs> right, so the mouth, um, you take a scoop, right, mouth and nose, right? So you, mouth, and you throw it out. Nose with the same scoop. And then with your left hand, you throw it out. Right? Again, there are duas for it. All of it you can find in the book, Beginning of Guidance, Bidayatul Hidayah. Uh, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad You can do uh, mouth, nose, mouth, nose, mouth, nose right? Or you can do mouth, mouth, mouth Nose, nose, nose right? if, you don't, if you don't have the, w- Enough in your hand you're so small, right? Enough in your hand to do mouth and nose right? You can actually do it Take two times like, if you want right? So of course if you want to save water right? From the beginning of your wudu Always have a, have a uh, gayong right? Have a gayong, have a pail I have a scoop that is that is under the under the tap. This is for those who actually really I mean for for myself personally, I prefer doing it that way. Because I feel bad whenever the water runs. Right? And you're trying to do all these sunnahs because you, you keep moving your hand away from it and you want to on off, on off, on off, on off. Right? It can get very um, difficult at times. So what I usually will do is that I will put a, a, a container there beneath this the, the sink. Right? And then when I wash my hands, right, the water goes into the container. Right, this water is not used water because the hands are sunnah. 
right? So the washing of sunnah limbs, right? There is no the water is not used water, right? There is no coming out of a cavity that's filled all these parts. Okay, uh, okay. There is an entire thing right, in our religion called used water, all right? And I'm going to give the definition of used water, right? So that we can we can we can be very clear, right? Uh, what we are about what we are learning. Right, Bismillah. <coughs> Right, so for are you all okay with this? Are you ready, I'm going to give a definition of what is used water. Right, the word that some of you might be familiar with is mak mustatman. Right, so water that is used. Right, so when I say uh, mustatman. Right, meaning used. Okay, what is mustamal water? Right, mustamal water, it is clean water. Okay, so don't think it is not clean. It is clean, but it is that it has been used. Right, so it's clean water. You can even drink it if you want to drink it. Right, it's, it's clean water. Right, if it's not clean, then it is water that has najis or water that is uh, no longer water. Uh, it has colour in it or smell in it. It's not called water anymore. This is still water with the properties of water. Uh, the colour, the smell, the taste is still water. Uh, it's clean water right, that has been used to... So it's clean water that has been used to do one of these two. Right, the first one, to remove minor... Or major hadas. Right, minor or major hadas in uh, for those who have learned before in Malay is hadas uh, kecil hadas besar. Eh? So minor or major, major hadas. Right, be very clear about this. It was used to remove hadas. In washing sunnah washings, hadas is not removed because it's sunnah washings. Because for example, eh, if I am on hadas, right? So, uh, I'm in hadas and I want to pray. Okay. If I do my wudu, only the wajib, and I don't do any sunnahs whatsoever, is my hadas removed? Yes. Right? My hadas is removed because the, doing the wajib removes the hadas. Uh, which means the had, what is hadas? Hadas is, is a state of impurity. Right? It's not a physical, uh, something physical and tangible, no. But it's a state of being. That is hadas. So, so if I just do the wajib, my hadas is removed. If I just do the sunnah, is my hadas removed? No. Right? That means there is no hadas right, when it comes to doing sunnah. There's no hadas being removed. Right? So right now, I want hadas. Right? I want to remove my hadas. Okay? Like for example, eh, if I wash my arms, and then so I say, okay. If someone says, okay, only the wajib limbs have hadas on it. Someone says that, right? Because if you wash the wajib limbs, your hadas is removed. Right? So is it okay in that case? If let's say I wash my arms and then I wash my head and I wash my face and I wash my feet, is my hadas removed? I say no, because you gotta go in sequence, right? And I say okay. What if I wash my face without intention and I wash my arms and my head and my feet? Is my hadas removed? You say no. Because you have to go by intentions. Okay, I'm doing it this way so as to understand when is hadas removed, so as to understand what water is exactly mustamal water, right? what is used water, right? So, for example, if okay, I, I come I come to the to the bathroom, right? I want to do my wudu. Okay, so I I recite all that I recited. I came in on the tap. Okay, I wash my hands. Okay, is the hadas of my hands removed? No, right? It's sunnah. If someone says, hey, but, but hands is part of the arm and arm is wajib. And I say, well, yes, but the hardest of the hands cannot be removed until the hardest of the face is removed. Right? The door, of the door to, to, to remove the hardest of the hands is not open until the hardest of the face becomes open. The okay? hardest of the face uh, is removed right? and the door becomes, becomes open. Right? I hope you are follow, following me eh, about this mustamal water. Right? This mustamal water actually is very easy, inshallah. Right, but it is, it is a matter of, let's say, people, because I know in the past, when they learn about mustamal water, right, I think uh, may Allah have mercy on, on all of our teachers, right, that sometimes they make it as, as simplified as possible, because it's, it can get complicated. Right? 
Bukan asyik apa-apa, asyik that just don't touch the water, okay? <laughs> ah, don't touch the water. Alright, so everybody don't touch water. Okay, just, 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 just do everything outside, play safe. Which is okay. It's okay. Uh, you can actually do that. Right, but if let's say you want to actually, you know, use this mustakmal water thing, right? And you can use mustakmal water. You can, right? So I come into the bathroom. I on the tap. It goes into the container, right? So I wash my hands in the container. All that water is not mustakmal. It's not, right? So and then what I can do is I can off the tap, and I can scoop that water and do my mouth and my nose. I can very well do that, right? Because first and foremost, it's not mustakmal water. Secondly, mouth and nose is sunnah, and I can even I can use any water. Uh, it's sunnah. I don't have to use fresh water. So mustama water as opposed to fresh unused water. You get it, right? Okay. So now, so with that, with that water that I use to wash my hands, and you know when you wash your hands, a lot of water runs. Whenever I do it, I get I get enough to do my my mouth and my nose. <laughs> enough water that is uh, um, collected uh, in the in the container. So I take the container, right, I pour into my hand, and I do my mouth. Or you can just take the whole thing and drink if you want. <laughs> Not drink now, but, but, but do, your, do your mouth and your nose. Sorry, mouth, and then you spit and nose, and you, and, you, and you throw it out. Okay, now the face. The water in there, right, is still not used water. Okay, if you have enough left, like, usually by this side, I have no water in there anymore. Right, but if there's water in there still, it's still not used water. If you want to, you can very well take the container, pour it into your hands, right, and... Do your face. Alright, the first one. If you want to. Okay, if you okay, not so sure. What's what? You take the, the, the you, you leave the container there. On the tap, you take a amount of water, right? And then you do a, in a amount of water, you off a tap. Save water, off a tap. Take the water, you wash your face, right, and you need it. That's your first washing. Right? If the water drips into the container, uh, now the water is all Mustaqman. Because that first washing removed the hadas of your face. Ah, so now your face has no hadas already. The first washing does that already. Right? Second and third is sunnah. Right? So you can very well use the water that's there right? and we'll do your second and your third if you want to. Right? Once the hadas of the face is removed, now the hadas of the hands can be removed. You get it? Uh, so now my hands, if I dip it in the water, into any fresh water, and uh, now the hardest of my hands can come out. Uh, because the hardest of the face already, remove the door to the hands, is now open. Okay? Uh, so if I say I have a, a bucket of water, right, uh, a pail of water, if I put my hands inside, the hardest will begin to fall off. Right? So the one has another hukum in fake, which I'm not going to go through right, about that. But just to mention, that we are very clear when water is used and water is not used. Right, so when water is used to remove minor or major hadas, that is used uh, water. Right? So, and that used water can be used for, for things thereafter if you want to. Right? So if you, you, if you mandi hadas, right? so if you bathe from, a, from, 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 mens, from menses or from postal bleeding, the water that comes out from the first bath, of course, right, all of that is musta'man. Because it was used to remove the hadas. Because your whole body is hadas now. Because of the uh, menses. Right? That is uh, musta'man water. The other one, there's actually another one. Right? But it's, it has to do with the removal of najis, right? which uh, later on I will talk about. It's another one. I don't want to, I don't want to <laughs> lay too much right now. Okay? So the second one is, is mustama water. It has to do with the removal of perceived najis. Right? So it's not physical najis, but perceived najis. Later on, I will talk about it when, if, we, if we go into um, the topics of najis. Right? We will talk about this part. Fikir Fiki is amazing, right? Very interesting. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Alright. So, so if you really want to save water, you can save water doing that. Right? So, so, you do your, so you wash your face. Right? And then there's water, there's water in, in, the, uh, in the container. Right? You can use that water to wash your face second and third time. Right? If you want to. If you're like, oh, so <laughs> too much to think about. <laughs> then you can just on the tap, small stream and do it that way. Right, so uh, but and then and then uh, for myself personally, I, I will so then thereafter when when it comes to the arms, I so I will use the fresh water from the tap, wash the arms one time into the container, off the tap, take the container, wash the second and the third time, right, and then uh, on the tap again, wash the other one, right, and then off the tap, take the container, wash second and third time, and then do your takhallul, like this, right, so now so right hand, left hand, like this and like this, right. And then uh, with the head, same thing also, on the tap, wet your hands, 
right? Wipe it from front to the nape and to the and then back if you have short hair. Right, long hair, you go and you go through your ponytail. Right. Uh, and then so that's that's one time, right? And of course then then the ears. Alright. So so then the second and third washing, use the water that is uh bertakung, right? The water that is um being collected right, in the container. Yeah. The musama water. Yes. Yes. Uh, so then the thing. The mustamal water can be used for all the sunnas. Uh, so only the wajib washings you need to use fresh water. That's this. That's, that's, you want to say, if I can sum this whole thing up in one line, that's the one line. Right? So, mustamal water can be used for sunnas. Uh, Allah uh, Fresh water is needed uh, to do the wajibs. Right? So, just be careful about, uh, about that. Right? If someone wants to ask, like, you know, what about if I have only one container a situation? Eh? So, you have no tap. Right? So, you, maybe you're, you're traveling, you're, on, you're, you're camping or whatsoever. And you only have uh, one container in front of you. Right? And you're going to do your wudu from that one container. Right? If you have, whenever you want to take water from the container, so, so let me just re- replay the whole thing. Eh? So you want to take wudu. If only one uh, baldi, okay, one, one container right, of water, you want to do your wudu. Right? So in washing your face, you can very well dip your hands inside and take the water out right, because the hadas on your hands cannot fall off because your face is still in hadas, right? So you take, you dip your hands, right? You go to the side, right? And then you wash your face and the water drips to the ground, not back into the pail. Right? Because if it drips into the pail, the pail becomes uh, musta'amal, it's contaminated right, by the musta'amal water. Okay, you do the side. Okay, now you want to do your arms, okay? So if you do your arms, the moment you dip your arms in the pail, the hadas of your arms falls off right, into the pail. And the whole pail now is musta'amal, you can use it for your head and not your feet. So what do you do? Either you find a container right, where you can scoop up the water, right, or you hold the bucket and you can tilt it, try and get the water out. Or, if you have no choice at all, right, and you want to still use your hands, you can use your hands, but you intend to use your hands as scoops. Right, so you must intend. I intend to use my hands as scoops. Right, in Arabic, it's called istighraf. Right, so, so I intend my hands as scoops. So when you use your hands to take the water, your, the hardest of your hands will not fall off because you intended them as scoops, right, not as uh, limbs of wudu. <laughs> you get it? Right, so you can say, I intend to use them as scoops. Or you say, now why do istighraf? Right, intend them as scoops. Right, so easier like the word scoop. <laughs> right, they are scoops. <laughs> right, so you scoop the water out, and you go to the side and you wash your hand onto the ground. Not uh, wash the the hadas like, onto the ground. Your hand onto the ground. I right, wash your the water. It falls onto the ground. Right, again, I I intend to use my hands as scoops. Take it another time round. Wash the other hand. Right, the water falls to the ground. Right, now there is no more hadas on your hands because you wash it on the ground. Now you can use the water however you want to use because your hands have no hadas. Uh, so it's only that part. After the face being washed, the door to removal hadas of the hands is open. Uh, that part you have to be careful about the hands. That's all. Right, so I oh, hope oh, I didn't confuse anybody. <laughs> okay, everybody clear about that? Anyone confused? <laughs> you have a question? Hadas. Mm. Fall back. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So in case, in case it drops back in. Yeah, in case. All right. So her question was that. Okay. So you do your face the first time round, right? And then you want to do your face second and third time, right? Okay. Then while there's no more hairs on the face, like the mustamal water on the face is still there. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, there's still mustamal water on the face. Ah. Uh, so so when you second and third, you're saying that don't just do it back onto the container. You can do it outside. Yes, right, that is actually uh, to play safe lah, to do that. And also, after washing your, your face for the first time, right, and you want to wash for second and third time, for example, right, your, but your hands, hadas can still be removed. So even though you want to wash your face, you have washed your, you have washed your face first time. From the first washing, right, the hadas of the hands is now uh, ready to be removed. <laughs> right, the door is open. Right? But you don't want to wash your, your hands yet. You want to wash your face second and third time. Right? So, 
So same thing, if you take the water to wash your face second and third time, you must intend scooping. I, I intend to use my hands as scoops. I is the graph, I taking it up, I am going to the side and washing it. I is the near is the graph again, go to the side and wash it. Near is the graph again, I take it and then use uh, for one hand and do it again. It's the graph, the other hand. Okay, now there is no hadas on the hands, and now you can easily just take the water and wipe the head, take the water uh, and do the yes. Like, the reason why I'm teaching all of these things is, is that's it in case you're traveling or whatsoever and there is really, really limited water. Right, supply and you never know and this kind of uh, things in fiqh uh, they always teach it because even though we see ourselves in the modern day whereby water is very easily available right towards the end of time water will become very very scarce <laughs> right so all these things are still studied in fiqh right because to teach the next generation and so on until you reach a people who will face it right towards the end of time there will be people so all of these laws will still uh, be very well very much relevant until the end of uh, time right so so if the water that you have there that is that is still there so after doing your head right it is a sunnah to do the yes together with the head right so you wipe the head right and you do your yes right you wipe the head and you do your yes three times and right? so there was three wipings of the, the yes with the face three with the head that's six right so after you do your head now it's time to do the yes right so same thing i would actually use the mustamal water Right, because if you keep the, the, the tap running, right, a lot of water comes out. Right, and you, if you think, okay, I'm going to use my whole wudu, I'm going to do all the water coming out, then later all this water, I give the plants. <laughs> right, okay, can also. Right, at least you don't waste, you don't let the water run through the drain. Right, you keep the water for some other time, you know, or what, what, whatsoever. There is a sunnah also, you know, of drinking water of wudu. But it does not mean that you go and take the, 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 the container and you drink it. Right, it means that when you wash your face and the water comes to the, your lips, you drink it. Okay, so it's not like when you say the sunnah of drinking water. <laughs> then you take the, the gayong and all the water that you drink, the whole thing. No, it's what they mean is 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 the water is on the face, right? And it comes to your lips. You're not fasting, you drink it. Okay, not that you, you collect and you drink the whole thing. Right? If you want to, you can lie. It's all clean water, right? It's not dirty water. And wudu has to be clean water. Right? Whatever is on your face, on your arms, uh, that is of soap or oil or paint or whatsoever should have been removed before the wudu right? because it is a condition in wudu that it does not change the color and the taste and the smell of water right? so the water that comes out from wudu must be clean right? that is the condition right? so if you come to wudu and you have all this like makeup or whatever on your face you must first wash it all off then you begin your wudu so you don't you don't do the whole thing while <laughs> you wash it all off first okay Allah must say in a moment. Right, so the ears, okay, now the ears had three with the, with the face, three with the heads, right? With the head, okay. Now we have nine left. Okay, how is this nine done? So you have your water in front of you, right? You dip right, your, your, and I think if you saw the video, so how you're doing it also. Right, so you dip, right, you, with one finger in here, and this on the side, right? So this is one, two, three. But not all in one go, right? It's more of like with each dip. One, two, three, right? Okay. Uh, the back of the ears also are three washings, right? So you dip one, right? Dip two, dip three, all right? You saw how he did it together, right? So he dipped and he did this and he did this. Can also, right? He dipped, he did this and he did this also. Right, and then after, so you can do it together. You can do it individually. The water is all there, stagnant. <laughs> so you can do whatever you want to do, lah. Right, and then you dip and you wipe. One, two, three. Right, and that brings you to nine, nine washings. And after that, you come here. Right, you can also dip if you want. Right, and you wipe the neck once. Uh, neck is the sunnah of the neck once. Right, all of these there is there are, there are du'as from bidayatul hidayah in the beginning of guidance there's a lot of du'as for every part of wudu right so for example oh allah when you wash your hands i ask you for good fortune and blessing and then i seek your protection from uh, bad fortune ill fortune and 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 destruction when you do your uh, mouth you ask allah to keep you on the qawl and thabit Right, on the firm word of La ilaha illallah, 
You can also include in there to, to forgive you of all the sins of your tongue right, and to keep you uh, constant on the, on the recitation of Allah Subhanahu's book. Right, there's, a, there's a full dua then on your nose so that you smell the smell of paradise and when you blow it out to protect you from the stench of the hellfire and then the face to, to whiten your face or brighten your face on the day of judgment on the day whereby the faces of the awliya and the ulama are brightened uh, and not to darken your face uh, on the day whereby the faces of your enemies are darkened. Right hand. Uh, you ask Allah for uh, to give your book in your right hand and to give you entrance into paradise with no reckoning. In the book of the, in, in the beginning of guidance in that book, it says and to let you enter paradise with an easy reckoning. Right? Habib Muhammad Al Haddar says no, don't say that. Right? Say and that you enter paradise with no reckoning, right? no questioning. Right? And then the uh, the left hand, don't give your book with your left hand and nor from behind your uh, back. Then on the on the head, right? Allah uh, ask Allah to 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 envelop you, right, with His uh, mercy, right, and to uh, rain upon you, right, from His blessings and His forgiveness, right, and uh, to shade you on the day of judgment where there is no shade except His shade, and then the ears, right, that you hear the caller, right, uh, uh, or, or the, or, or of paradise. Right, that, you, that you enter into paradise and you don't hear the call of the hellfire. And, and there are all these do'as like in the neck that you seek Allah's protection right, from the chains and shackles right, of, uh, of the hellfire. Right, and the feet, okay, now the feet. So in washing the feet, right, there is, uh, uh, you probably saw, that, this is the full sunnah of sitting down when doing wudu. So if you go to the masjid and you see, Allah Masjid Muhammad, you see uh, these tools, right? Right. It's sunnah to actually sit on it. Even though it's, it's so wet. <laughs> then your whole baju, your whole clothing all be wet. Right? But try to, to wipe it or something like, and then sit on it. It's a sunnah. sunnah. To squat when you're doing your wudu or to sit when you're doing your wudu. Like, I know in our own houses, it can get a bit hard to keep a chair in the toilet or something to try and you know, squat or sit. But there's a sunnah of doing it. Allahumma sayyidina Muhammad. Um, and it's a sunnah of uh, facing the qibla. When doing your wudu, the sunnah of not talking to people the entire time when doing your wudu. This I didn't mention the sunnah of a siwak. Right, so be, you can do your, your, your siwak before the entire wudu and intend that I am doing the sunnahs of wudu and you do the siwak. Right? Or if you do a siwak before you wash the mouth, right? so there is no sunnah of siwak after you wash the mouth. So after you wash the hands, you do the sunnah of siwak. You might sunnah, do, the sunnah, do the sunnah at that point of washing of doing the mouth. You, if you're going to begin your wudu with washing the hands, you need to intend at the washing of the hands, I intend to do the sunnahs of wudu. You need to intend that. Right? Because if you don't intend that, then it will just be like a, a normal action of washing the hands. Right? And then, Allah Alam, you know, may Allah reward us for where we fall short. <laughs> right? Allah Masayyidah Muhammad. Uh, the sunnah of the nose is only there with the mouth. So which means, if someone washes the hands, and they say, okay, I don't want to wash my mouth, but I want to wash my nose. Uh, and they say, okay, do the nose. There is no sunnah. The sunnah is actually, the sunnah of the nose only comes with the mouth. So if I do the mouth, then I do the nose. The mouth, I do the nose. Uh, but the moment I skip the mouth, right, I, 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 I can't just do the nose. They come together as one organ, the mouth and the nose. Okay, so it's not like, like okay, I don't want to go and pause it. Uh, then, you know, <laughs> like, I'm fasting, you know, I'm fasting, I, I feel very uncomfortable. You shouldn't feel uncomfortable because it is permissible. So do the sunnah of the mouth when you are fasting. Just you don't do it all the way to the back. And of course, again, a sunnah of washing the mouth is to gargle, gargle the water all the way around your mouth and throw it out. Right? Except if you are fasting. Right? If you are fasting, you keep it at the front of your mouth and throw it out. For the nose, if you are not fasting, right, the sunnah is that you sniff it all the way up to the point it hurts a little bit. Okay, it's not painful. It's, it's not scary. <laughs> right, it just has a little bit, and you throw it out. Right, this is actually very healthy for your nose to do that. Right, but uh, if you're fasting, to do a very slight sniff, right, in case the water uh, goes backwards right, and into your uh, gullet. Right, so you do a very slight sniff. For the one who is fasting, since you're going to Ramadan, you know, might as well go go through it. For the one who is fasting, if they do the mouth and the nose right three times, right, and they don't do it in excess. So meaning they just, you know, move the water in the front of the mouth and only sniff a little bit. If the water actually accidentally goes into their gullet, right, that is forgiven. Uh, that is forgiven, that is pardoned. Right? If they do it in excess, 
or they do it more than three times. Say then three times and do fourth time. Right? And there's a hadith but some says that the one who does the wudu two times or four times, he is not of me. Meaning he's not following my sunnah. Right? He's supposed to do you're supposed to do it three times. Right? Don't do it two, don't do it four. But of course you do it one is for the wajib. Right? So do like, okay, la, I do two la. So random do two. Do three la. <laughs> you know, like, like, so 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 he says, so is it that if you do it four times with the mouth and the nose, even if you do a little bit, but it's the fourth time. And some of it enters into your mouth, your fasting is nullified. But uh, if you do a fourth time, because why you do a fourth time? <laughs> right, like Sibo, right? Why, why do you do a fourth time? Okay. So same thing with the nose also. If you do a bit, but it's the fourth time and then you went into the into the uh, nasal tract, right? Uh, it breaks the fast. Right? It nullifies the fast. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, about the foot. I'm just gonna show this. Okay, about the foot. Oh, my sister, come on. <coughs> okay, so if you saw how Habib did it, right? So the foot, <laughs> the foot, when you want to wash the foot, you're seated. Right? It's not to be seated, but right? if you're not seated, you're standing up. Right? So you lift your foot, right? it's, you wash it from the toe up to the ankle. I know we always go ankle down to toe <laughs> because the tap, it does that. <laughs> right? There's a sunnah of toe up to ankle, not ankle down to toe. Right? So Toe up to ankle. If you can go higher, half the calf. If you can go higher, right before the knee. So if you're at home and you can easily do that, it is do it lah. Right. So you do it three times. Right. Then your pinky finger. Right. You start from the pinky of your toe. Right. And you go from underneath. Right. The sunnah is to go from underneath, not from above. Okay, from underneath. Right, there is no sunnah also to get all your fingers and put them all through. <laughs> right. Right, if, you, if you want to do it, you can right, to ensure the water goes through. But the sunnah is the, is the pinky finger one by one. Right, and it says, why one finger one by one? Can't you do all fingers through? Can't sunnah? Right, it's easier. Right, because the sunnah is like that. The sunnah of Rasulullah is like that. That's what he did. Right. Yeah, from, 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 from the, okay, I'm gonna, can you all see my foot? Okay, from, from the sole of your feet. Right, so you go, right, one, two, three, four. Just one time, then you go three times, okay? Just one time. One, two, three, four. The same finger, right, you go to your left foot, but now you start from the big toe. Uh, so, uh, so from, from pinky to pinky with the pinky. Okay, they say in Arabic, actually. Right, so, and then you go from the big toe, you go one, two, three, four, right, through, right, to the small toe. So from, from, from the right pinky, to the left pinky with your left pinky. Okay? <laughs> Can <laughs> the right pinky toe to the left pinky toe with your left pinky finger? <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Because, yeah, it's with the left. Right, so it's from the right to the left with the left, correct? So both feet is for using the left? Yes. It can get difficult with the other foot. <laughs> we are trying to like <laughs> do it that way. I know, I know. I, for me, I'm, 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 I'm left footed. This thing, eh? <laughs> I'm left footed because I can't balance on my right foot. Right? So it, it's, it's very difficult to, to do it. But alhamdulillah, if you're seated, so now sitting down, everything is easy. Right? So alhamdulillah. Uh, or squatting. Right? Squatting. And then thereafter, after you finish your whole wudu, right, to stand up, face the qibla. So you leave the bathroom at this point. All the du'as that you're doing, if you're doing it in the bathroom, you can say it out loud as long as you don't say Allah's name. So where the part of Allahumma, right, uh, is in the heart. The rest of the du'a, you can do it on your tongue. Right? Uh, if you're outside the bathroom, then no problem. Just say it all out, uh, out loud. Right? So when you leave the bathroom, you come out to the outside the bathroom, right? now you find the qibla, you face the qibla. Right? It's a sunnah of raising the hand. Like this, up. You raise your hands up. Right? So you don't, it's not, it's not like this. For women and men, you should raise your hands. Right? And, and you read the dua that comes after uh, wudu, which, which is here, right? It should be here at the, at the, at the back, if I'm not wrong. It's in this book. Right? Uh, Allahumma. Uh, yeah, up, up, up. Like this. <laughs> and you raise your hands all the way up and you uh, say the dua after wudu. Allahumma uh, sallallahu If you don't do wudu, you, the dua won't come to you. <laughs> the only way you do it, the walk comes to you, right? 
Allahumma ij'alni min Allahumma sayyidina Muhammad Allahumma ij'alni ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu Allahumma ij'alni min at-tawwabin wa ij'alni min mutahhirin wa ij'alni min mulkin salihin subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik then the dua if you can do it after wudu if you want to and then you do surah qadr three times right inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr, right, three times. The one who does it the first time, they will be resurrected on the Day of Judgment together with the Prophets. The one the second time round, together with the uh, Martyrs. And the third time round, together with the Righteous, right, the Salihin. Right. So you do it. And the Sunnah of not saying anything until you actually perform a prayer. Right. So, so, so after you have done your wudu, you go, right, you don't do anything, you go straight to the prayer. You pray two rakaats, whether it's qabliya before the prayer or the prayer itself, right, the, the compulsory prayer itself, or you do sunnah wudu if you want, or hajat, whatever you want to do. Right, as long as you do a prayer, right, and then you can begin to speak. It's all sunnahs, right, to preserve the sanctity of coming to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So alhamdulillah, we finish wudu today. Eh? <laughs> no. no, no, no. Right, only, only if the du'a is the raising of the hands And then if the surah, no There is no other way Just to say it right, uh, as, as you go towards uh, getting a prayer garment Putting it on uh, And then praying the two rakats right? uh, And the one who does this Their wudu will come out of them as a bright light And it will rise to the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And it will be there seeking forgiveness for you To the day of judgment Yes, and he's the one who already honors the wudu. So, mashallah, you can imagine someone does this for every prayer. Mashallah. And how it will really affect their prayers. So for us, at least, you know, when you're at home, right, you're, not, you're not working, you're not at school, you know, you're, you're able to do it. Uh, and you have, I mean, to, 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 if there's anything you can spend our time on, it's this. Right? And which in our zaman, where people waste their time. And there's no excuse why we say we don't have time to do it all like this. No, we actually have time. It's a matter of priority. And it's a matter of priority. And so just really try our best to to do it. Even if it's some sunnahs, right? So do the, you know, the easier ones, right? If it's not hard. Uh, if you find uh, trying to save all this water, you know, a bit too much of a hassle, leche, right? to try and do it, right? Then try use the still, still, still. Uh, Keep the water and use for something else. So at least you don't waste water like that. The believer does not waste water, even if he is taking wudu by a running river. Right? That is from the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So because it is the it is the entire act of wasting. I only those who waste they are the brothers of shaitan. Right? That's in the Quran. <laughs> those who waste are the brothers of shaitan. Right? So we are believers. Uh, by, by, even if it's a flowing river And there's no wastage when it, when it comes to the river Because you take wudu back into the river And it's a flowing river right? But the entire, the entire um, spirit you know, of, of honouring the gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And not uh, wasting it Alhamdulillah Any questions? I'm going to go into the istighfar of Rajab It's really tentative Very fast today uh, Any questions? For yes, yes. Ah, it could be a difference of opinion. It could be a difference of opinion. But it's a sunnah of three times, at least <laughs> three times. Yeah. But of course, the one time is the compulsory. Probably a difference of opinion. All right. Alhamdulillah. Um. Okay, and no, if there are no questions, right, so let me just see if I miss anything out there. Eh? Mm. Okay, so, Asalisu Rasul Yadain, Ilamir Fakain, Rabi O Masfu Shayin, Min Rasi, Al Khamis, Rasul Rajlain, Mal Kaabain, Asal Sutter Tib. Allahumma Sari Alasin Muhammad. Okay, uh, next week, inshallah, I'll go through some of the hadiths that I mentioned here. Uh, for us to just, for us to just, you know, um, enjoy <laughs> going through the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam with regards to 
the wudu and how it illuminates uh, people on the day of judgment, inshallah. All right. Uh, there are no questions. Just mm. okay. We're gonna do our istifaru jab. Eh? If someone has the PDF, can they put it on the grid? Uh, is is yeah yeah. Uh, just put it on the group. Okay. Bismillah rahman rahim Do you all have it? It's uh, uh, the istifar uh, It should be put, it should be put on, the, on the WhatsApp group. Okay. You all got it? Is it on the WhatsApp group? Is somebody on? Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Wa sallam. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Wa atubu ila Allah mimma yakrahullah. Qawlan wa fi'alan wa khatiran wa naziran wa batinan wa zahiran Astaghfirullah al-azim al-lazi la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum Wa al-hayyul qayyum Wa atubu ilai Allahumma inni astaghfirka lima qaddamtu wa ma akhartu wa ma asratu wa ma a'lantu wa ma anta a'lan bihi minni Anta al-muqaddimu wa anta al-muakhiru wa anta ala kulli shayin qadir Astaghfirullah hadha al-jalani wal-ikram min jami'i zunubi wal-atham Astaghfirullah li zunubi kulliha sirriha wa jahriha wa saghiriha wa kabiriha wa qadimiha wa jadiliha wa awaliha wa akhiriha wa zahiriha wa batiniha wa atubu ilayh Allahumma inni astaghfiruka min kulli zambin tubitu ilayka minhu thumma uttu fi wa astaghfiruka lima aradtu bihi wa jahaka al-kari كريم فخال تخوما ليس لك فيه رضا وأستغفرك لما وعدتك به من نفسي ثم أخلفتك فيه وأستغفرك لما دعاني إليه الهوى من 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 قبل الرخص مما اشتبه علي مما اشتبه علي وهو عندك حرام وأستغفرك يا من لا إله إلا أنت يا عالم الغيب والشهادة من كل سيئة عملتها في بياض النهار وسوار الليل في ملأ وخلأ وسر وعلانية وأنت ناظر إلي إذ ارتكبتها وأتيت بها من العشيان فأتوب, إي فأتوب إليك يا حليم يا كريم يا رحيم وأستغفرك من النعام التي أنعمت بها علي فتقويت بها على معصيتك وأستغفرك من الذنوب التي لا يعرفها أحد غيرك ولا يطلع عليها أحد سواك ولا يسعها إلا حلمك ولا ينجيني منها إلا غف إلا عفوك وأستغفرك لكل يمين سلفت مني فحنست فيها وأنا عندك مؤاخذ بها وأستغفرك يا من لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين فاستجبنا له ونجيناه من الغم وكذلك ننجي المؤمنين وزكريا إذ نادى ربه رب لا تدرني فردا وأنت خير الوارثين رب اغفر وارحم وأنت خير الراحمين وأستغفرك فرق من كل فريضة أو جبتها علي في أناء الليل وأطراف النهار فتركتها خطأ أو عمدا أو نسيانا أو تهاونا أو جهلا أو أنا مع وأنا معاكب بها وأستغفرك من كل سنة من سنن سيد المرسلين وخاتم النبي نبيك وسيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم فتركتها غفلة أو سهوا أو نسيانا أو تهاونا أو جهلا أو قلة مبالاة بها وأستغفرك يا من لا إله إلا أنت وحدك لا شريك لك وأن محمد عبدك ورسولك سبحانك يا رب يا رب العالمين لك الملك ولك الحمد وأنت حسبنا ونعم الوكيل ونعم المولى ونعم النصير ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم يا جابر كل كسير ويا مؤنس كل وحيد ويا صاحب كل غريب ويا ميسر كل عاصر ويا و و 
يا من لا يحتاج إلى بيان والتفسير وأنت على ما تشاء قدير وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد بعدد من صلى عليه وبعدد من لم يصلي عليه اللهم صل على روح سيدنا محمد في الأرواح اللهم صل على تربة سيدنا محمد في التراب اللهم صل على سيدنا على قبر سيدنا محمد في القبور اللهم صل على سورة سيدنا محمد في السور اللهم صل على اسم سيدنا محمد في الأسماء لقد جاءكم رسول من أنفسكم عزيز عليه ما أنتم حارس عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف الرحيم فإن تولى فقل حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكل هو رب العرش العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم in three times سيد الاستفاق اللهم أنت ربي لا إله إلا أنت خلقتني وأنا عبدك وأنا على عهدك ووعدك ما ستعت أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت أبو لك بنعمتك علي وبذنبي فاغفر لي, فا لي فإنه لا يغفر زنوبا إلا أنت اللهم أنت ربي لا إله إلا أنت خلقتني وأنا عبدك وأنا على عهدك ووعدك ما ستعت أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت أبو لك بنعمتك علي وبذنبي فاغفر لي فإنه لا يغفر زنوبا إلا أنت اللهم أنت ربي لا إله إلا أنت خلقتني وأنا عبدك وأنا على عهدك ووعدك ما ستعت أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت أبو لك لك بنعمتك علي وأبو بذنبي فاغفر لي فإنه لا يغفر زنوبا إلا أنت وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم الحمد لله رب العالمين من الفاتحة أن الله يرزقنا علما نافعا وعملا خاصا مقبولا استعلم ودلالة على الخدى ويسر بقوم النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأروح معنينا من الشيخنا وذب الحقيقة علينا وإلى حضة النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر سبحانك اللهم بحمدك أشهد لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك صلى الله عليه وسلم محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم الحمد لله رب العالمين